This evening, the Sioux Falls Public Works team has found a new system that may just keep those floodwaters out of neighborhoods this coming weekend. Work has started to build a temporary levee in one South Sioux Falls neighborhood. That work underway near Phillips Avenue and Twin Oaks Road, just south of Tomar Park and the Big Sioux River. KSFY News reporter Ricardo Lewis live in Sioux Falls tonight with a look at the progress that's been made, Ricardo. Brian, I'm back here in that neighborhood where I was earlier where they were putting those trap bag systems together. And the people putting it together today say they feel confident that the waters will stay out of this neighborhood. This neighborhood was completely underwater just a week ago. And now the city is installing a barrier system with more than 800 tons of sand. It's called the trap bag system. The city went to work immediately after we were uh, made aware of the potential for flooding impacts again. And uh, you know, identified this neighborhood as, as one that uh, may need some additional protection. It's a barrier that is used in place of making sandbags for flood protection. It's been a popular barrier that's been used many times in other places known for flooding. But will the system hold out the water? So based on, on the forecast from the National Weather Service and the, the uh, river modeling information that we have, you know, we, uh, we believe that these will be sufficient to, uh, for the flood waters that we may see. Each bag is filled with sand from the top that are connected into 50-foot sections that are 2 foot tall. This barrier will be 2,100 feet long. Luden says those who live in this area are concerned. The event that happened last week was, uh, you know, happened very quickly. We didn't have uh, the opportunity to react like we are able to for this event. Um, so, you know, certainly they're concerned and we're, you know, we're responding to, you know, provide protection as much as we can. So why use trap bags? We do it with 60% of the sand and we do it a hundred times faster. If you're stacking sandbags, it would take hours and hours to make sure they were stacked properly and water didn't get through. It just saves mass amount of time and it saves labor. People don't get out here and get injured. They don't get exhausted. Right now we've got a couple of hundred feet up with just one man and a man on a bobcat. Now the city says they do have a backup plan in case these trap bags don't work to keep the waters out, but hopefully they do and this project will be completed by tomorrow Friday. Live in Sioux Falls, Ricardo Lewis, KSFY News. Ricardo, thank you so much.